So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exploring the cross sections uh, using the geometric tool in Hikra 2D for flood modeling. So now let's get started. So in our previous uh, video, I have shown you how to uh, create a cross sections in RAS Mapper using Hikra 2D. So uh, in this video, we're going to see how this uh, cross section geometry it's gonna look like uh, in the geometry uh, tool in uh, Hikras 2D uh, software so uh, and how to uh, read the information associated with each each of the cross uh, cross sections so that we created uh, in this cross section geometry so now we're gonna exceed our RAS mapper so we're gonna navigate to the files so we're gonna save this and I'm gonna click exceed so now uh, so once you exceeded your RAS mapper so now we're going to navigate to uh, this particular option called the geometry uh, data. So view and edit uh, geometric data. So you're going to click this tool called uh, geometric data. So now we're going to click this option. So once we are inside the geometric data, you can uh, able to see that our terrain data has, has automatically uh, loaded up. So now here you can able to see have loaded my geometry data here. <laughs> So you can able to see I've loaded my geometry data. So I've loaded uh, using this option called files. And in that I'm going to navigate to my folder location where I've saved my geometry data. So I'm going to click this option called open geometry. So it automatically navigates to that particular location. For example, so it has navigated to this particular uh, location. So this particular fold where it contains my uh, geometry data. So you can able to see that. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to click OK to load our geometry. So let me show you that again here. So we can able to see this. Uh, this is our terrain data. So it automatically loaded here. So if you cannot see your terrain data, you have to navigate to this option and make sure that you click this option called plot terrain. And uh, once you apply, click this, tick this option called plot terrain, it's going to load your terrain data. So similarly, in the next step to load your geometry data, so first we're going to navigate to this option called files and in that we're going to click this option called uh, we're going to click this option called open geometry data. So it automatically navigates to your folder location where you saved your uh, geometry data or make sure that you save your uh, geometry data of your suitable folder location. For example, I have, sold, uh, I have saved uh, in this folder location. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to click OK to load this geometry data. So now here you can able to see that. So we have managed to load our geometry data in, in this tool called geometric data tool. So you can able to see our cross section geometry here, including the, the bank lines and the flow path. You can able to see on the cross sections. So in this tool, uh, we have to use a set of options to zoom in. For example, you have to use your scroll button to zoom in and zoom out. And uh, you have to use your shift key in your keyboard to pan around. For example, I'm going to uh, hold my shift key and you can able to see the symbol has changed from the cursor to, to a hand symbol. So now I can pan around. So to zoom, I have to use my scroll button and to pan around, you have to make sure that you hold your shift key in this tool called geometric data. So now here you can able to uh, see the cross sections here so since uh, in this particular tool uh, so we are not going to uh, digitize anything uh, in this uh, tool here so I'm gonna turn off the terrain model here for example I'm gonna navigate to this tool called select layers to view in the background so in that I'm gonna turn off the plot terrain and I'm gonna close this so here you can clearly able to visualize the geometry so the next step uh, is uh, we can select any cross section of our choice. For example, I'm going to select this particular cross section here. So which automatically highlights like uh, a red buffer, a circular uh, circle in red color. You can able to see that it highlights our uh, cross section. So for example, I'm going to select this particular cross section here. I'm going to use my mouse and I'm going to select uh, this particular cross section here. So it gives us a set of the informations like bald eagle upper reach. Uh, 17189 and in this we have a set of options here starting with the edit cross sections graphical cross section editor plot cross section plot profile plot x and y z and uh, we have variety of different options that is available 
So first, uh, we're gonna navigate to this option called Edit Cross Sections. So we're gonna click this option called Edit Cross Sections. So once you click this option, we have this new window called Cross Section Data, the Bald Eagle Creek. So we can select your cross section using the the mouse uh, key here, or you can navigate to this option called the Cross Sections here. So you can select this option called Cross Sections. So we can able to see the window in more detailed way now. So we can expand this window according to your choice. So once you click this option called cross section, we have this uh, windows uh, window. So now in this window, we're going to navigate to this top, uh, top option called river here. So we're going to click this bar option called down arrow button here. So in that you can able to see we have the two different options here. One states the bald eagle and the followed by the second one which states the river one that is our tributary so the first is our the bald eagle creek and followed by we have our tributary so i'm going to select the bald eagle creek so for example here the river we selected is the bald eagle creek and the reaches uh, we have two different options there is upper reach and lower reach so for example let me select the lower reach here so this is our lower reach in the bald eagle creek and now i'm going to select the upper reach for the bald eagle creek similarly you can select the river one that is our tributary and uh, you can select uh, the tributary reach as tributary reach so we have only uh, one tributary so this uh, tributary is uh, located in the downstream area so uh, the reach only we have uh, is a tributary reach so let me select the bald eagle creek so for the bald eagle creek uh, you can select any reach of your choice for example lower or upper and uh, for each of this reach for example we have selected upper reach we have the set of cross sections here in the upper reach here so you can able to see these are the different cross sections we created in the upper reach and similarly for lower reach so these are the different uh, cross sections that we created for the lower reach and uh, each of this uh, so the cross sections can be identified using this particular station number so we can able to see so for this particular cross section we have this station number called 7860 so likewise the individual cross sections can be identified using this uh, station numbers that is uh, you can able to see these are the different station numbers so as we discussed uh, earlier here so uh, if the station number is lower which indicates uh, this particular cross section is located in the downstream so we can able to see the numbers here so similarly you're going to select for upper reach here so you can able to see the station number it's pretty high compared to the the previous uh, lower reach we selected so this number indicates the it is of uh, upstream area so these cross sections are located in the upstream area so you can also select your uh, cross sections uh, for example you can use this arrow button here you can able to see this up and down arrow button so but to move down we can select uh, this particular click this option called down arrow button so it's going to show us the different cross sections here and for similarly to go up we're going to select this up arrow button here so to select the different uh, cross sections in the upstream in the up reach so you can able to see that and uh, this is how we can uh, navigate to uh, through different cross sections in the each reach and uh, in this graph uh, you can able to see we have two axes so one axis which uh, shows us the station and the next axis which shows us the elevation so the stationing uh, which uh, states that which is the distance from the the left part of the the left part of the cross section uh, that is going towards the right so here you can able see from this particular column here so uh, we have the cross section coordinates so the station here which indicates uh, this particular axis starting from 0 to 600 so uh, you can able to see the station value starts from 0 to uh, 544.9 and similarly the elevation here starts from 167.222 so the elevation ranges from 209.89 so you can able to see the elevation here the elevation starts from uh, 167.222 so the top value of around 200 and uh, 200 and 9.89 so the elevation of this particular axis is given in this column here and similarly the next uh, we're going to navigate to this called option called downstream reach length so we have this three set of uh, columns or uh, again say uh, three set of columns starting with lob channel and rob 
so the L will be here which states the the left over bank and the channel which states the so the channel stands for the distance along the the distance along the channel so the channel states the distance along the channel and the R will be which states the right over bank so the L O B which gives us the distance in the left over bank uh, regions to the next downstream uh, cross section and the channel uh, which gives the distance to the next uh, downstream uh, the downstream cross section along uh, along the channel and the R O B which stands for the right over bank which uh, gives the distance to the next downstream the downstream cross section in the right the right uh, bank region so the next option is uh, the Manning's end value so uh, you can able to see the LOB channel and ROB so it doesn't have any value so we haven't assigned any va Manning's value to our uh, the cross section so the next is the main channel bank station so here we have the two set of uh, columns here starting with the left bank and the right bank so the left uh, bank and the right bank gives the distance from the origin along the cross section uh, here so the left bank is along uh, is it is around uh, 284.1 uh, uh, so the left bank value is around uh, 284.7 so which is located somewhere here so you can able to see the value is highlighted here and similarly the right bank here which is around 361.2 so which is somewhere highlighted here so you can able to see this red color here and uh, last is we have the contraction uh, and the expansion coefficient so by default uh, it has a value of around 0 0.1 and uh, the contraction has a value of 0 0.1 and by default the expansion has a value of 0 0.3 so for example if you uh, which, uh, if you're going to browse through different uh, cross sections here so you can able to see the similar value for the contraction and expansion so you can able to see that so we can able to see that so these are the different options uh, you need to understand here starting with the downstream reach length mannings and value and the main channel bank stations and the construction and expansions and uh, you can explore the different profiles uh, cross section profile which uh, you have created so you can go through the different profiles you created so basically this is the edit uh, cross section profile uh, window here so you can able to see and uh, gonna close this so uh, last uh, make sure that you save your geometry uh, file here so navigate to the file options and make sure that you save your uh, save geometry data so I'm gonna click this option called save geometry data so once you saved it so uh, in this video I have shown you uh, so basically we have explore explored the cross-section now uh, profile uh, using the geometric editor to uh, the geometric editor uh, tool in HICRAS 2D for our flood modeling. So thanks for watching and make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like.